I still remember we were back there uh, watching the foundations going in. And you know, not not a long while later, we now have uh, our own little stadium, which is uh, you know, it's, it's looking really impressive. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember looking at the plans and the sort of 3D thing of it at yeah. the time and thinking it looked good and stuff. But you see, now being here, it looks absolutely unbelievable, and I just I can't wait to actually come and watch a big game or any game really. Guys are always saying we should sort of get along to games more and sort of meet and catch up, and like by the sounds of it. You know, that, that, that's something that can sort of be developed more now and, you know, let everybody keep in touch a bit more now, sort of. It just feels like sort of having more of your own home, you know, yeah. like. As a, now being an ex-player, I would love to come back and, you know, obviously still know quite a lot of the boys that are playing, but also to get to meet some of the, the guys that are coming through now and, and, you know, vice versa. I think there's some real value in, in players that come to play for Edinburgh, uh, understanding more uh, the history of the club and what they're representing and you know how important it is not just to to the ex-players but the people and the fans in it yeah i mean i think it's going to be it's going to be really good the stands are, are nice and close to the pitch um you know when you have eight thousand screaming fans in here there's gonna there's gonna be a bit of noise i think do, do you know what i always dreamed of getting somewhere like this for us and like I think I've played in probably just about every stadium in Scotland for Edinburgh over the years, like every club stadium and a lot of football stadiums and that, and see to be honest, it's like the, fa the fans just deserve somewhere like this, it's been that long and like now we've kind of got like our own, our own home and I, I just can't wait. This is something, something they can really make their own and um, you know, it, it's not even fully branded yet when everything is up and running and you know, we've got the fans in here, you know, Friday, Friday nights are going to be uh, something that Chunk and I definitely want to be part of, I think. I think, uh, you know, the way the way Edinburgh are, are going to play rugby uh, will be well suited for this. It's fast, you always know what you're going to get, whether it's it's good or bad weather. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, you know, I also think it's a surface that Edinburgh can really develop their own style on now moving forward, uh, you know, with, with all the changes that are happening. and. Uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's it's hugely positive. I was just going to say, I reckon I could take this over 10 metres on here, <laughs> even right now, <laughs> with the sandals on. On your flip flop. To be fair, you were pretty mobile for a <laughs> Pretty. But you were a pretty mobile. <laughs> <And> actually, <laughs>